So Dorian, uh, what are your thoughts on Jalen Hurts tonight? Like, how did that impact how you were playing? What do you think of his play tonight? Yeah, um, he's definitely a hell of a player. Um, he, as you can see by his performance tonight, he showed that. Um, you know, I knew coming into the game, I had to kind of match his intensity and match his play. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, he brought my game up. So. Oh, um, inconsistency again tonight. Another kind of uh, more of the same with that, it seemed like. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess at the end of the day, we all just have to continue to try to execute and um, you know, build on good drives and, and good plays and stuff like that and kind of stack stuff. So, uh, yeah, consistency wasn't there tonight. So. What worked well for you guys in the third quarter when you guys kind of got things going for a little bit? Um, I, I think you can see a, a rhythm. I think that's the biggest thing is we, we finally got into a rhythm. And um, like I said, to start and stack and plays and, um, and building one on top of another and kind of finding that consistency on those drives. So. Uh, Dorian, a lot of people are saying that you guys played harder and looked, looked like you guys were you know, out there really trying. You just played a better team. Um, how are you going to take that to next week playing against a tough Washington State team? Yeah, um, you know, our first three weeks, um, those are all definitely three tough opponents, and, and they all gave us really good tests and stuff like that, and really good looks. So um, I think that will prepare us going into next week going into a good Washington State team. So, so Doran, there were a lot of Oklahoma fans here tonight, obviously. Like maybe there were more than UCLA fans. Is it weird having a almost road game like environment, the Rose Bowl, was the noise any different? Do you notice anything like that? Um, you don't know, I mean, we don't really pay attention to that. We just kind of try to go out there and execute the plays and, and try to stick to what's our job and stuff like that, so. When you guys don't have the results that you're looking for, how do you fight off the frustration of seeing still zeros in the win column when you guys are going to work every day, or you at least feel like you're going to work every day and you're putting in some good practices? Um, I think just putting your attention towards your teammates. Um, I think that's pretty much the only thing you really can do. Um, you really can't look at outside sources and, and stuff like that. You kind of just have to look with, from within and, and to kind of come together as a group and stuff like that. So You had a bunch of uh, scrambles in this game, probably more than you had in the past two games, uh, really like getting going on the ground. Uh, what, what do you think worked well to help you get the rushing yards you did in the past two weeks? Um, I think just taking what the defense gives me, um, you know, going through my reads and, you know, Coach Kelly Priest this week, if, you know, if nothing's there, I mean, you're a runner too. So um, just to try and get them a couple of yards here and there is um, very beneficial and stuff like that for play calling. So just taking what the defense gives me. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.